Hey, what's up there, guys? <clears throat> Elton McFall here, aka a Retro Old School on a beautiful uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, I haven't gone out to enjoy it yet because I've been busy so much lately going out to film that and the other and this and that. Uh, the, uh, the physical activity of it all is caught up to me, and I'm not no spring chicken anymore. I mean, I'm in top shape, but still, I'm 41, you know? Oh, yeah, and just to point out for those of you guys who are loyal to my videos and channel. Look at that, look at that, I cleaned the windows, yep. I'm not sure they had ever been cleaned like in the longest time. So I cleaned those windows and I also cleaned these ones here. Of course you can't really tell much because of the, the brightness of the sun and, and there's Gloria. Meow. Meow. How's my kitty? Hmm? Who's my good pushy kid with your big tail? Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, thanks, Doug. Uh, thanks to Doug all the way in Alberta for sending me that gift there and the uh, the tender vittles. Gloria's always enjoying it. Here's a frame, by the way, of a uh, 69 Cadillac Sedan DeVille that I framed for a friend of mine. He's got a 69 Cadillac. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my latest project painting. So I just finished drawing it out, man. Yes, as the title says, it's a 1961 Monarch. Now, for those of you who are specifically American or, uh, you know, not Canadian and younger, well, the Monarch was basically a Canadian model uh, derived from the full-size Mercury uh, Monterey. And uh, they invented that. Uh, Ford of Canada invented this back in, um, back in 1946. And it was made until 61. And then when the, the Ford Granada, which was a mid-sized car, came out in 75 in the U.S. and Canada and, and you know, South America, Europe and whatever, that was actually uh, uh, an American model because you had the Ford Granada and you had the Mercury Monarch. So anyway, this is, in fact, I wanted to do a painting of a Canadian car for the longest time because I'm proud of our Canadian car's heritage. For example... This 58 Pontiac Parisienne, large photo that I framed recently. I bought this old frame, right? You know, I don't know, a few bucks, whatever. And a uh, nice metal frame. And uh, and then I found this this enlarged photo I took of this car back in Cornwall in 2008. And uh, be, believe it or not, this first year Parisienne, Pontiac Parisienne, uh, which is equivalent of the American Bonneville, however, this has a Canadian... Chevy drivetrain. It's got a uh, uh, 261 cubic inch uh, six cylinder. Anyway, on to the Monarch. So the Monarch here, yeah, I thought the Monarch was a, a weird looking bird. Look at this. See that? That's an original. Let me show you better lighting. That's an original magazine ad that I found uh, a couple of months ago, uh, along with a whole bunch of McLean's magazines from the 50s and early 60s, and lo and behold, I turned a fucking page and it's a 61 Monarch. I said, holy shit, it's a sign. That's my next painting is going to be the 61 Monarch. And not only, and in fucking black, with a black or navy blue background, whatever, with a red interior, no less. It seems that whoever this broad is, it's just, excuse me, it's insignificant to this, what some people would maybe even say an ugly monstrosity. You know, also another reason why I'm doing this car is because I like to think of these types of cars are like me. Uh, that is to say, very Canadian, uh, you know, kind of ugly, but where there's ugliness, there's beauty. You know what I mean? I think more than ever. And that's the case with these cars. I'd love to, obviously, I would love to own one of these. I've never seen one. One day, I think I probably will. I don't know where. And personally, I think when cars like this are this rare, these Canadian cars, they shouldn't even be allowed to leave Canada. That's how strong I feel about them, you know. So anyway, so I got the, I've got the Monarch drawn out here, as you can see. Let me just see if I can uh, give you a little more lighting on that. There we go. Since the late, uh, late afternoon sun is almost peeking in my uh, friggin' small old windows. And, uh, yeah, I drew part of this out the first time, but it was too small, and the angle was not what I wanted, so I said to myself, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. The way I got this to look right was I started with this headlight right here. That would dictate the whole rest of the whole, you know, body and the chrome and all that shit. And uh, um, What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to do this car black. They sold a lot of these in black, and uh, I'm actually going to do it a color that I saw in a book I had 
about American cars and there was a picture of a 61 Mercury Monterey convertible like I said it's the same body style as this but not the same front end at all very simple front grill and headlights and it was this this dark metallic brown it's like oh I love that you know and a lot of people they think of brown they think like shit but not necessarily that's not always the case I guess because I'm an artist you know uh, there's something here I might have to fix up I'm not sure I'll have to look I'll have to see when I got all the paint laid out not sure if that rear rear wheel well and the wheel there is too close to the front one, but that's how I think it's supposed to look on that type of an angle. Uh, also to show you, also to show you guys, uh, the another picture. This is a picture I got uh, online. It's very good quality. It's not perfectly sharp, but this one's a Tudor hardtop, which is really fucking rare. Tudor hardtop, man, on this car. I like the mirror added on the fender here. Now, I'm not sure if that was a dealer option or that was added along the line because this car for sure was restored. Uh, but I liked it and in the early 60s, late 50s, it was very common for cars to have mirrors on the front fenders like that because they were so fucking enormous. So they needed better visibility, you know. And it, as you can see, the crown, it's, it's quite an automobile, you know. And uh, lastly... Um, lastly, oh look, it's 409, eh? she's real fine, my 409, and uh, Beach Boys would sing that, I'm starting to talk like my friend Peter D there, um, where's the other thing I wanted to show you guys, yeah, here we go, this is going to be the background here, this is actually a block away from my house, so basically my street is here, Cuvillier, in Hochelaga, Montreal, Maisonneuve, and on the next street over, it's Davidson. And I hate the fact when I'm on the bus on the 125, the stupid automated announcement, the woman, she says, Brushenere Davidson. And often I'll say out loud, it's Davidson. You know, like, say it correctly, fuck. Anyway, so I've always liked this old, um, very old building. It looks very original. And uh, I thought to myself, well, why not use this as a background? And if, obviously, if I need to get more into the details, I'm not sure I'm going to do those fucking screen coverings, by the way. Uh, but I really like that that you know that dark red with the green that that old school it's just an old school shade of green you know and I like it it's just business but it looks quaint you know and it's gonna look really really neat with the monarch and um, I want I should have done this car a little bit smaller but you know what it doesn't matter because I like the whole in your face kind of thing just like that Peterbilt. Uh, just like my Plymouth, my Christine, and by the way, these are for sale, and, and, and so much so for this guy. I would like to do a, I'd like to do a jetliner one day, by the way, painting, jetliner painting, uh, I'm not much into military stuff, but you know, jetliner, I don't know, maybe Air Canada or CPR, you know, I mean, I'm a proud Canadian, I gotta keep it on the, the, the Canadian theme, you know, like, for example, somebody recently talked to me about a, um, the front neck, the front neck is even rarer than this probably and that was a one year only Canadian Ford Falcon 1960 I've never, again that's another Canadian car I've never seen I've never seen a 60 Monarch, that's another one so um, yeah, so you know so, so far so good, I'm gonna stop right here because uh, I'm gonna make myself an early dinner gonna make some butter chicken and unfortunately I didn't when I went to do don't you hate it when you go do your groceries and you forget to buy something Jesus I hate that so I get home and I'm like oh I got no balsami rice and I'm like you know what fuck the balsami rice I'll make some potatoes and it's gonna be just as good and uh, so so that's about it guys I'm excited about this and uh, and I'll be excited uh, when I you know, to show you how the, the progress goes over time. And I think I might have to make those headlights a little bit smaller than I'm looking at them now. But it's all minor adjustments. That's what's great about doing paintings is that when I used to do drawings, and I made so many fucking drawings, I made some big drawings. If you made a mistake, you were not, you couldn't, you couldn't correct that, you know. It's, I mean, how would you correct it? You can't. I mean, sometimes I would use, if I could, I would use liquid paper or something. It didn't look very good, you know. Anyway, yeah, I think it looks great the way it is. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you're uh, having a good one. And uh, stay tuned. Take care.